Hey everybody, welcome back to the Old Deer Hunters. No sooner than I got the reviews done for the new AGM Varmint Series, AGM has announced more new scopes, and they're already on the dealer shelves. I just got a call from Jason out at Outdoor Legacy, and he's got these new scopes already on the shelf. He's got four of them. They have announced five new tube-type scopes, you know, similar to the Pulsar Thermion, or the uh, IRA Bolt series. These are tube type scopes for the Night Hunter. So stick around, you're gonna like these. Okay, before we get into all this uh, good information about the new Hunter series, uh, jump over there and, and click that uh, su subscribe button. It's a tube type scope, similar to the uh, Pulsar Thermion. It, the, the buttons are, are similar, the way it operates is similar, but I do not have one in my hand yet. I have one coming from uh, Outdoor Legacy to do a review on. As soon as I get that, I'll be back on here with you to show you what it really looks like. We'll walk through it and look at all the controls and, and, and talk all about it. But I just wanted to get this news out to you. If you're thinking about getting a thermal rifle scope this year, especially a tube type scope, which works really well on a bolt action rifle, you might want to consider these. The first four scopes we're going to talk about are the new adder series from AGM. The adder series is comprised of two 384 by 288 scopes and two 640 scopes. But it has a new internal battery and that battery will last up to 15 hours. First one is a TS-35 will be a 35 millimeter objective lens, 3 to 24 power at three power, the field of view at 100 yards will be 40 feet. It, and get this, it comes with an ADM quick detachable mount. It has video and audio. So I mean, these scopes from AGM are just getting better and better. They've added uh, the new thermal processor. They've added sound. I mean, these things are really going to be special, and the, the price point is, is really unbelievable for what you're getting. The second scope is a TS-50384, so it's a 50 millimeter objective lens with a processor that's a 384 by 288 resolution. It's also a 12 micron uh, processor. The uh, magnification on it is 4 power. It's 4 to 32 with a 50 millimeter lens. It's a little bit narrow for, uh, you know, for a hog hunter. It's a 28-foot field of view at 100 yards. But that's what happens when you go up to 4 power. The higher the magnification, the more narrow the field of view is. So, you know, it's, it's a compromise. But if you think the 4 power base mag magnification is what you need, if you're making long shots on, on, on coyotes, you, you're not coming in, you know, you've got wide open fields, you might want to think about that. Now all of these uh, adder series, they come with the same internal uh, battery, whether it's a uh, 384 or a 640. And they say that the, uh, the runtime on this internal battery is about 15 hours. You know, that's in perfect conditions. That's, you know, 65 degrees and you're out there, you turn it on and look through it and uh, that's all you do. When you start recording, when the temperature gets colder, you know, you're probably not going to get 15 hours, but I mean, let's say you only get 12 hours. Goodness, I mean, that's that's like uh, three or four times what you normally get with a, one of these uh, tube type scopes. The TS 50 384 is 29.95. It's a little bit more uh, than the TS 35, and that's just basically the difference in the size of the objective lens. You know, these uh, objective lens on a one of these type of scopes is uh, very expensive. The material it's made from so uh, it's not surprising that you have to go up another $500 to get a 50 millimeter lens. Number three on the list is the TS35 640. It's $39.95. Okay it's a 640 by 512 12 micron thermal core. It starts out at a base power of 2 so it's a 2 to 16 by 35 with a 40 foot field of view. Now that's 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 pretty good. A 40 foot field of view and a two power base magnification. Now based on what I found with the varmint, uh, even though you're starting at two power, 
that thermal processor is good enough where you can bump it up a couple of times at somewhere from like to two to four to eight, and you still have a good enough uh, resolution to make that shot on a coyote. And it's $39.95. Okay, the law, number four is the TS50 640. It's $44.95. Of course, it's a 640 by 512, the same. It's a 2.5 mag. It's a 2.5 base magnification, and it has a 50 millimeter lens. What's good about this scope is you get a 2.5 base magnification, and it still has a 46 foot field of view at 100 yards. So I mean, for coyotes, I think that's going to be spot on. For hogs, I still think it's going to be good. So if you have a bolt action rifle, or if you, you know switch back and forth between AR type rifle and the bolt action rifle. I mean, this is an excellent choice. And, and the other thing is that the mount that comes with this thing is like $150 to $200. And they're giving it to you <laughs> with the scope. You're getting the audio and, and video capability. So I think this, these, uh, these scopes are really going to make an impression on the market. In a couple of weeks, I'll have one of these. We can, we can look at uh, all the features. And uh, I get my hands on it. I can tell you more about it. But I just wanted to get that news out to you that these things are available now. You have four of these scopes that are already on the market, but they've also announced they're going to have a night vision scope based on this same tube technology. It'll probably look just the same. Use a illuminator to the side of the scope, or maybe it's furnished to attach to your rifle some way. I'm thinking that uh, a scope like this in a night vision series is probably going to run about $1,200. Maybe a little more, maybe a little less. But I tell you what, AGM is just doing all kind of things. <laughs> They're giving you uh, tube type scopes with a 15 hour battery. They're giving you AGM mounts on all of your scopes. Uh, the Farmit series is giving you uh, rechargeable batteries. I mean, they're going all out and providing all the things that hunters have asked for. I'll be back in a couple of weeks with the uh, first look. I can hold it up and show it to you. So uh, I'm really excited. If you want to get an idea of what the image looks like in this new Adder series, all you have to do is go look at the reviews we did in the hunts with the AGM varmint because it has the same lens, it has the same software, and it has the same processors. This one is just uh, in a tube site that uh, lends itself uh, better to have proper eye relief for bolt action rifles. If you have a modern sporting rifle, it'll work just like it will on a bolt gun. So you got the best of both worlds. I'm gonna put a link to the hunts we did with the AGM varmint. So that should give you an idea of what the image quality looks like in both of these scopes. Please subscribe. We want to, uh, to bring you more information about these rifle scopes and night vision scopes. Thank you very much for watching.